Good afternoon, everybody. I'm, I'm Nims Alberto Sanz, I'm Managing Director actually of Autoscout24. So today I'm going to be talking about my mother, my mother company, Scout24. What is Scout24? Um, Scout24 is actually a holding organization that owns um, independently incorporated categories, uh, verticals, that specialized in their field and only in their field. We have our largest categories, Auto Scout, Emo Scout, and French Scouts, as example. That makes us Europe's, in one of Europe's leading um, corporate groups in the online market space. If, if we look now at some uh, numbers, we are about 1,000 employees with uh, 8 million unique users per month, and we are active in 18 countries. The last uh, country we entered was Russia about half a year ago. So if we now try to understand what is the story and where do we want to go with this scout holding, we, we have to think of what is it what we're focusing on. It's not only about doing money anyway in any kind of marketplace, but it is a very um, specific decision of saying we want to be in those categories that have a high relevance to users. We want to be there where people are willing to invest time, where they want to have value. This differentiates us from horizontal marketplaces where you have all kinds of things where you go in, you buy an old pair of ski and you disappear and that's it. We are in verticals where you can have deeper, longer interactions. And these are mainly categories like um, buying a house. This is the largest investment you will do in your life normally. Buying a car, which you do every six years on average. And this, again, one of your largest investments. It's about relationship, potentially getting married and potentially the most expensive of all the investments, but I have no statistics on it. And, uh, and, and, and that's the logic that has led this group to grow to the size I mentioned before. I'll show you this group is actually quite old. It's about 12 years now that, uh, that it has been growing. It started initially with the idea of having a holding. So this is not a post-rationalized strategy. It really was a, a bold decision of some people at the time. Uh, it was funded by the Beisheim Group, a former, well, a, a, a large and well-known German retail group that invested in this idea. And then started the search for entrepreneurs in 1999 that were gaining momentum in these specific categories. And the beauty was that at the time, some entrepreneurs were smart enough to realize that building up a business in 99 in Internet requires a lot of things. And if somebody takes care and helps on the branding side, that is something of value. And these entrepreneurs at the time said, we're going to be specialists in our field, but we'll find a connection between us and let's see how it helps each other. And that was the logic of saying we have a brand that is Scout24 with the category mentioned above. And that sounds like a simple decision. This is probably one of the main reasons why Scout Group and the verticals themselves grew so much. If you think of it, every investment in marketing we are doing in one of the verticals is in some way representing an investment in another category. And we have actually some facts that prove this. We ask people that know any of the scout verticals whether they know of any other vertical in the scout group, and over 60% in Germany know it. Okay? We have launched in 18 countries. We are not equally represented with all the verticals. So when we compare how much we invested in some countries, where we had only one brand active, and we see that in relation to the country, the investment was comparable, you would get 
in terms of brand awareness as proxy, a multiple out of the same investment. So that is terribly logic, but sometimes the logic does, pr does, does it prove us wrong. In this case, it's nice to see that really it makes sense. But it makes only sense if you have a group of verticals you concentrate on that have a certain serious character that are building some trust. And that is one of the other reasons for, uh, for growing, which is the selection of these categories Makes it, as so, uh, makes it such that by becoming an expert in this field, you generate more value, and the people will value this value. I mean, if you look for a car, there's a lot of information you want to know. There's information before you buy the car. There's comparison. You want to have magazines, editors that write and test these cars. We have all of this in Autoscout, for example. So you start, you know, having roots in the category and become more and more relevant and that builds over time and differentiates you from any other uh, player that enters in the field with any horizontal classified logic. He'll never be as specialized and as, um, as, as, as powerful as, as a specialist would be in this case. And I would say the third reason why the scout group has grown so nicely is that there was also an interesting way of managing the group. There was not a holding saying, I want to create synergies wherever possible. This is a very typical management instinct. Okay? You say, OK, why don't we couple things? I don't know, invent now. You buy a house, you get there, and you'll have the car you wanted, and you'll have some money to have the date and uh, some uh, financing as well. Here's the package from the Scout family. This is tempting, but it is not what the users want. So what the group has said is, you become expert in your field. Don't worry about the brand. The brand works on its own. And that is something that if, if I start thinking, where have I seen such a brand archi architecture working this way? There are not so many examples. And I would be happy, by the way, to hear of any. And it was probably a very simple decision, but it was very valuable and is, has a, wor a value in, in marketing spend of certainly uh, two-digit millions uh, over the last two, three, four years. Now let me give you just a brief view, uh, look at the th three of the, the verticals in the portfolio. Immobilien Scout is the largest one and is in Germany the largest, by far the largest real estate market. Started with offering houses, apartments, and as I said, became more and more relevant in the category, started showing real estate financing, assessments, relocation assistance, you name it, and became more and more relevant. It's one of them, it's, it's actually Germany's most popular online marketplace with five million users every month. Next one on the list is Autoscout24, chose actually a slightly different strategy of going international very soon and by now is Europe's largest uh, online marketplace with around 1.8 million offers, around 300,000 vehicles sold every month, and with a brand awareness that's, that is uh, difficult to increase at around 90%. And finally, we also have something around dating. Seems to be a very relevant topic today. Friend Scout in Germany in terms of visits, uh, and in terms of uh, profiles, also a leading platform and has gone from a purely classified of uh, people into profile checking, personality test, again, deepening in its knowledge and value in their specific category. I stop here, I think we're having a long day, so I just try to give you an idea of why this group as such has grown and what, why this was not necessarily a coincidence. There was a good reason, and that's impressive to see, and I was not there, so I'm taking absolutely no credit, how people 10 years ago, 12 years ago, had the, the vision of saying, these two, three decisions can make a difference, and it has made a difference. Thank you very much.